All right, what's going on, guys? Um, after the last video, I realized I have a couple powder coats I never did videos on, and now would probably be a good time to do it. It's windy outside, so might as well be proactive and do some stuff. That way I'm ahead of the game when spring hits, and I can be out there to shoot. But we're going to do a powder coat video today. Um, we're going to do Eastwood Maroon. Uh, PC, PCC kids sent me some, and I never really did a video on it. So, uh, we're going to start off with, uh, Eastwood Maroon. Alright, so, uh, got us a container. It has a little bit of red left in it, but I don't think it's going to make that big of a deal. We're going to get one of these spoons that, uh, CW sent us. Uh, being it's a little container, we're just going to put a little, like, two of these little teaspoons in there, powder. One. Two, all right. Throw a couple bullets in there and we'll give it a shake and then we'll go over to the uh, oven. See you over at the oven all right here we are at the oven now this is just what i do there you guys got to find your own method of doing your thing doing your thing um let me shut this um i save these little tin foil like uh pie pans and i lay it down and i'll throw my basket it basket in now this here being I'm doing a video, I normally don't stand them up. I just throw this in the oven. But what this is, is uh, a um, old uh, deep fryer basket that I took out of a deep fryer that didn't work and ripped the handle off, and that's what I use. All right, let's have a look at the bullets. All right, there's the bullets. They're pretty well covered. Um, I normally just... Throw them in there and shake them off. Alright. I'm going to pause you so I can move some stuff. Alright, like I said, I normally don't stand them up, but... Alright, so, I take a piece of this here, uh... I think it's quarter inch... Uh... Hardware cloth. I just set it in there, and then I... Just use a pair of these here forceps and just sit them in there like that. So I'll do that and then I'll bring you back. I do like my powder coat thin and kind of uh, putting on gas checks. And you can see like there's voids there. Most of them will just fill in from the flow of the powder coat. Um, I, I like the I like to have the ability to put a gas check if I if I want to. That's why I do mine thin. All right, I'll bring you back in. All right, they're all in there. It's all warmed up. We'll see in about twenty. All right, oven just went off. We'll pull these out and let them rest for a minute before we stick them in the quench. And they all look like they came out pretty well. They're all covered. Uh, yeah, I'll put these in the quench and I'll uh, meet you back at the bench and we'll have a look at them. All right, so here we are back at the bench. Uh, some of them are a little bit wet yet, but uh see if I can give you a 
kind of a close up of what you I mean there's a little bit of light spots but for me this is a good cover I'll take that any day Cover's good. It went on light. But yeah, I, I like this powder. This powder is a good one to use. It covers well. Flows good. Um that's all I gotta say about that one. Alright. I will talk to you guys later.